Seagulls in the Snow On one windy winter day not too long ago, I wondered, where did all the seagulls go? Almost all of them fly south on the very first cold day, but then I saw one lonely seagull that forgot to fly away. There he was wheeling high above the snow and ice, flying overhead once and then flying past twice. I thought that seagull must be hungry, and so I took out a bowl of cereal and put it out on the snow. And then my silver seagull swooped down and he ate. And he smiled at me as if he wanted to celebrate. And so the next day at breakfast I did the same. I, I sneaked out of a bowl of cereal to this seagull with no name. What's your name, I wondered. Tell me, please, as I watched that seagull of mine fly over the trees. And then the next day, even before breakfast came, I went outside with another bowl, and I did the same. What should I call him? I, I still didn't know. And so I watched him fly, nameless, over the snow. Next morning, as I went outside, nice and slow, I heard a voice ask, Where you think you're going to go? Things had gone so well and so according to plan until I heard my father say, Stop there, young man. And so I told him about what I had done. I told him about the seagull who forgot to follow the sun. And we went together outside to watch the show, but time passed and still no seagull landed in the snow. And then all of a sudden we saw the seagull put his feet beside the bowl as he leaned forward and began to eat. Now seagulls have a beak, so they can't easily smile, but I promise you I could tell he was happy for a while. Every day after that I thought I should give him a name, and every day he landed and flew off just the same. Even one day when we had a hurricane, I put out the food and my winter seagull came. And one day it warmed and the snow disappeared. I saw a hundred seagulls hanging from the clouds like chandeliers. But they didn't land, they only flew away. My seagull and the other seagulls blending into the gray. My seagull has never come back since that last warm day, but still, I put a bowl of cereal outside for my seagull anyway. And certainly, whenever I hear the snow begin to fall, I rush out and look and listen for the seagull's call. I'm happy, of course, the seagull found his friend and family, even if it meant our friendship had to end. Still, I like so much each day to give and watch the seagull take, as a seagull taught me sometimes the best gifts are what you make. I know that seagull didn't speak, and I didn't know its name, but I tell you every winter to this day, I still miss my seagull just the same.